Today I'm going to be playing the newest installment to the Holy Potato series, We're in Space. This is kind of a funny, fun game, and I hope that we can make our potatoes the best in the galaxy. <laughs> So just to review over some of the things we can do in this game, according to the Steam page, we can craft hundreds of different types of weapons, explore dozens of planets and galaxies, gather resources to upgrade our ship, uh, and a ton, ton more. So uh, I think this game has a bunch of potential. Let's go ahead and just start up a new game. Uh, I get to read as different potatoes, so <laughs> so that'll be fun. There is no mis no escape, old friend, uh, young how. Okay, so this is kind of a flashback. This is young. I, oh man, I don't even know how to pronounce that first name. So that, well, this is already a problem. Uh, you don't get to call me that anymore, Hal. Uh, can't you see what I'm trying to do? Okay, you know what? I probably this is gonna be horrible if I have to narrate this whole thing. I am not a narrator, so I'm just gonna go over it. Basically, these guys are rivals. And, uh, and here's going to be a little mode for us to, uh, to kind of practice some of the basic mechanics of the game. Okay, so uh, here we are on the left. We're playing as Young Hal. Uh, we'll beat some sense into this fool. I don't know why I'm reading it so slowly. I'm, you know, the, my dyslexia is going to make this so much harder. <laughs> so much harder. Okay, so um, we have this ship here. And we have a bunch of little potatoes inside of our ship. Uh, we have to destroy this scary spaceship that apparently is, is way bigger than us and way more powerful. Uh, so it's a turn-based game uh, with like kind of some RPG elements. It's described as kind of an adventure game as well. Uh, we can look at our health, our attack power. Uh, we have different potatoes manning different weapons on our ship. Uh, and we can choose who we want to use for the attack. So uh, basically, I just can fire upon their hull. Uh, now, I can fire two at once. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. Boom. Uh, we can kind of look at the amount of damage each potato is going to... You know what? This guy is not as good. Could I... Uh, whatever. We'll just fire it. It's, it's, it's a tutorial mode. We're not going to... Well, I don't know. I was going to say we're not going to lose the tutorial mode, but... You never know. You never know with Drew. Uh, okay, so your puny weapons are no match. Uh, cosmic bolts. Uh, the cosmic bolt is gonna obviously hurt us. I actually did that hurt us that bad. It didn't really hurt us that bad. Uh, here's my hull. This is basically my ship's health versus his ship's health. Obviously, he has a way better ship than I do, so uh, he could kick my butt. There's also this charge mechanic that we need to keep in mind for uh, certain weapons. So right now, uh, what it wants us to do is to select uh, which which gun do we want to select? This one. So it wants to select this shield here and uh, and put a shield over it. So, uh, usually, there's always a shield. Usually, it's protecting the hull. You can choose it. You could choose for it to protect uh, a certain weapon that might be kind of damaged a lot due to I don't know an enemy like I don't know attacking it or something like that. Because if uh, if they destroy one of my weapons, we can't use it for the rest of the game. So that'll be bad. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna hit with this one uh, and this one because I think those are my most powerful hitting potatoes. Oh man, I'm gonna love talking about potatoes during this whole video, and however many videos we make of this series. Uh, potatoes are just so funny. Okay, so this is an evil potato. Now he's going to start to move in on us. Uh, oh boy, here it comes. There are no running, there's no running uh, from them lasers. We just got to take it down before it takes us down. Okay, we're not going to read this dude because he's evil anyways. We don't need to, we don't need to worry, worry too much about him. Um, okay, so it looks like it wants to, yeah, we want to continue to attack the hole, but I could, I could target his weapon in slot one and we could take it down you know we have its own health down here but uh let's go ahead and just keep on going watch as my charge so my charge is lowering we won't be able to fire uh with as many potatoes per turn uh if i if i keep doing this so we need to watch that boom is he dead dead well i, I destroyed his hole i don't think that's i don't think that's enough hole hole i feel like i, I say the same it sounds sounds way too <laughs> Way too similar now that I think about it. Okay, um, you want to say, oh, I guess we, did we miss? Did I mess up? Um, can we choose you to fire upon two different things? Yes, okay, so we'll have one fire upon the hull and the other uh, upon the weapon. Nice. Okay, well that's not nice. We didn't take any damage from, like, the base of his ship. Oh, it looks like he missed. Did he? Yeah. Okay, um, oh, am I not doing what they're telling me to do? I think that's what I'm not doing. Okay, so we can fire multiple weapons uh, if we do, if uh, we have enough charge. Uh, take that weapon down. Okay, so you want me to take down the weapon. Um, okay, so then I'll focus on firing here, and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Looks like it's fine. So, uh, obviously this is a flashback. This is kind of showing you the potential of where battles can go, and, and, and also in a very, like, minuscule way. It's a tutorial at the same time, but we are not going to get this powerful of a ship uh, starting off. I, I don't know if that was something that people were wondering. 
Okay, so uh, we also get a little, what is this, status, stasis lock? Yeah, so we get a cooldown of 20 turns, but it's really, really powerful. It's going to stun all parts of the enemy ship for four turns. Uh, pretty powerful. <laughs> I, I don't know how we get that power, but I want to make sure that we get that power as soon as possible. Okay, so uh, yeah, he's, he's talking about minor setbacks. Uh, it's not just a minor setback. You are kind of screwed now, buddy. Uh, okay, so what do we want to target? Destroy the ship. Okay, so let's try to destroy the ship uh, if I can. Actually, you know, the hull has like 20,000 health. This might not go... Uh, if we're taking if we're taking 2,000 hit, you won't... Oh, okay. Okay, that's our cue. We need to live... Okay, so we get to leave. We get to escape. Uh, that was another thing that I didn't... Another little mechanic. Kind of like Pokemon, we can run away from battles uh, if we're not doing too well, I guess. Okay, so now we're back in the future. Uh, we get to kind of get an idea of... Uh, okay, so that was kind of just like a, a little bit of a brief preview of some of the combat here. Uh, I'm not going to read this, but this is the part where we get to uh, choose the ship name. So what are we going to do? Um, again, I don't want to sit you guys through unbearable pain where I'm trying to read this and I'm going to read multiple things wrong because I'm on crack and uh, and that won't, that won't be very interesting for a video. Okay, so... Um, so here we go. Here's the name change. Please. Okay, there we go. What are we going to name this? Uh, I like that it suggests stuff. Sputnik. Uh, we should probably include it with potatoes. Uh, why not we do uh, the the PCP potatoes? Is that good? The the, the PCP taters. That's better. Taters. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why that came up to my mind, but uh, the PCP taters. <laughs> That's true. Wow. Okay. I really like that one. Fine. I I'm surprised. That's really nice of the game to put that in, but it, it's a pretty horrible name. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm so bad at creative names. Okay. So here's kind of an introduction of uh, of our ship management. All right. Time to get to work. The top left panel shows our uh, HP and fuel. Okay. So we've got HP and fuel. Once the hull hits zero, we go bye bye. So we're dead. Protected at all costs. Uh, this is the panel on the right. Okay, so resources and starch. It reminds us uh, how poor we are. Fantastic. I guess we're poor. It's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad. Uh, we can click on the hub. All right, let's click on the hub here. So the star hub offers free refueling and repairs to get more edibles. Get more edibles to stop by. What do potatoes eat? That's the question I want to. I didn't play the first Potatoes game, Holy Potatoes game, by the way. I should probably have mentioned that, but yeah. Uh, click on the Upgrade Shop, Shiny, Blingies, Beyond. Okay, so I, well, I can kind of try to do that. Uh, we get to upgrade things. All right, let's go and upgrade this. Your basic crafting workshop setup. Number of slots, plus one. Yes. Proceed. I don't know why there's something very funny in my head. I Wait, do I have to do it? I, I think I have to do this twice for some reason. Maybe part of the, the review thing I don't know or maybe I just did it wrong but I noticed that before last time too okay so we're out of the we're out of the hub we just upgraded our workshop uh, oh hey our crew members just got back every single one of them are unique little snowflakes interesting interesting uh, terminology <laughs> there uh, they have skills that will uh, be very useful uh, on our uh, explorations okay my favorite part let's craft some weapons all right here we go so we get to go in here, and we can craft, uh, as I said in the very beginning, there's hundreds of different types of weapons that we can, over a hundred type of weapons, I guess, types of weapons we can, we can craft, um, and then we can close this, okay, so, we, uh, we also need potatoes to man these weapons as well, most importantly, of course, okay, so, uh, try to assign them, I'm gonna assign this to there, and, uh, I guess we'll pick, uh, Jorge, Jorge Looney, okay, you're gonna be the potato that works on that. All right, we're uh, we're done in here. We're gonna exit out. I guess I can zoom out. I really like the fact that I can just zoom out to exit. Uh, we need to complete all our objectives before we can go, before we can move uh, to the next galaxy. Okay, so souls we have left before the eclipse catches up with us. Uh, we need to travel to the next galaxy before that happens. Okay, here we go. Explore, travel, or skip it to take up a uh, a soul. Okay, here we go. Galaxy map mode. The galaxy shows us all the planets in the galaxy. Uh, we are currently at the Star Hub. Interesting. Oh, this is pretty nice. I, I don't think we have much discovered at the moment, so this is where we're going to go. Oh, we got like little research tooltip. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Lurking Inceptor, in Interceptor. Okay. Well, let's travel. Let's do it then. Okay, so uh, as we're traveling through here, one soul later, 
I guess it does. it's gonna take us some time. That's why we need souls, apparently. The overview screen shows us all the current tasks uh, that are in progress or are complete. Uh, there are a lot, lots of other stuff you can look into here. Uh, check it out. Okay, so hit back. Okay. We're gonna go back to the ship. Sweet, we made it. Complete objective. Objective panel. Where's my objective panel? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, what is our object objective? We're gonna need more resources before we warp. Uh, it's time for exploration. Let's start with getting to one of the outlying planets. Okay. Oh gosh, these two again. Faye, you know, I don't really care. I mean, I probably should care, but uh, let's let's just let's go let's go past it. I do think that the dialogue is pretty funny, which is a big element of why. I mean, we're, we're potatoes in space. The game is already <laughs> uh, pretty out there, but uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna click on the bridge. Let's click on the bridge. Uh, here we assign weapons and crew into the bridge. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, so these are our weapons starting off. Um, they're they're not nearly as powerful as uh, as the flashback weapons. So, as we can see, we've got like a little bit of a crit damage, um, kind of a charge a value here, accuracy. So this is a really accurate weapon. This one not so much. Yeah, not so much. But attack power. Yeah, our attack is going to be pretty low. It's going to be pretty low. Okay, so let me go with that there. This there. Oh, that's it. Oh, is that the, is that the combination we want to do? I mean, I like having the 100%. You know what? I'm going to take a risk. Um, you know, a few misses will, will make it more, you know, fun and, and exciting. Uh, I thought Jorge was working on the workshop. Well, okay, well, I'm going to use uh, Mr. Johnson. Joe Johansson. Okay. And then uh, and Spuffy. All right, looks like we're done here. Scroll out. Let's do it. Is it time to kill stuff? Yes, it is. Okay, so time to go out and explore this planet and get some loot. Uh, let's get started. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to be in a few battles automatically with our crappy ship. <laughs> uh, we've picked up signals of some uh, weird metallic box floating out in space. Do we want to real? Okay, so we've got our first little option here. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nice. I don't know what this what the planet has uh, for me, but I'm, I'm guessing in the beginning I can let it on board and, and maybe nothing bad will happen. Uh, they bring it onto the ship, open it up, they find it filled with uh, all sorts of junk. Okay. Nothing of nothing else was of, of value. Hey, I'm cool with that. I'm surprised that somebody didn't pop out and kill us all. Some sort of human just eating our little uh, potato spacemen. I don't know if that's a thing that could happen. Uh, w w we're not scared. We're shaking with determination. <laughs> Uh, I should read more of the dialogue. Okay. So what do we got with this little ship? It doesn't look that impressive, right? I don't think it looks that impressive. They only got one weapon. 260. Oh, yeah. We should we should be able to handle it pretty easily. Okay, so what do we want to take down? Do we want to take down... We could probably just attack their hull straight up. Can we? Oh, that's right. So I'm not going to be able to do that double fire thing. Uh, then do I want this man to attack? Oh, no, I don't. You suck. I mean, you, you you know, I don't want to do that to your... I don't mean to do that, but your self-esteem is, is only going to get lower <laughs> if I if I keep on... Oh, that's right, they have a shield right over that. Well, that didn't work out very well. So I need to attack his, his weapon. All right, let's go. Spuffy, I need you to bring it home, baby. Really? There? Okay, that was, that was a nice hit. So what are they going to... Okay, they're going to try to hit... Are they hitting my hole? Why did that do damage? That must be something with their weapon. 10% uh, critical Exa acceleration, 95%. Charge required three. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. Sh I'm gonna keep shooting at this because we should be able to take it down in like a, a second turn, maybe another turn from now, or maybe not. Oh, nice. That worked out pretty well. Okay, so there goes that weapon. Probably should have switched my shield there, Drew. Uh, that guy. Are you dead? Uh, no. He's just not doing well right now. <laughs> he's he's just kind of hurting a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Unshakable Battleship is trying to uh, to buy its escape with uh, $590 or potato dollars. I'm going to say that's potato dollars. I could have used this, huh? The Hail Mary? That's kind of cool. I guess so. I guess I'll excel I guess I'll accept this. Let's move on. Give me your money. Give me all the monies. We scavenged some stuff. I don't think I'm doing too well. I just lost a weapon. 
I did just lose a weapon. Okay, so uh, Cassie and Faye are uh, on their way back to their ship uh, when they noticed that an old lady has fallen down. Her groceries scattered everywhere. No one else seems inclined to help her. Hey, I'm, I don't necessarily help old ladies either that have their groceries scattered everywhere. Uh, we need to help her. Come on. We need to get going. Someone else help her. Ugh. You know, I'm not saying that, like, I've ever been in this situation before, but it really de it really depends. I mean, am I looking for re- You know what? We're not gonna help her. <laughs> they leave the old onion lady behind and continue back to their ship. Oh, man. I probably did the wrong thing. She was probably gonna give me something amazing, like, incredible, and, uh, and I just said, you know, I said, screw it. I feel like an evil person now. Uh, those heavy weaponry look like trouble. Uh, targeting the hole might be a good idea. Okay, so uh, get it done quick. I need to take a leak. All right. So this is an interesting sort of ship. Um, and I only have like one weapon right now too. This is not. This is not good. Um, all right. So let me. I guess we will focus on that. Yeah, but they've got a shield though. That's the problem. I'm gonna fire upon it, and it's gonna hit the shields. Or maybe it won't. Maybe it doesn't always work like that then. Okay, they're gonna- oh, that's not good. Yeah, so that didn't do any damage. But I know that I hit the hole when I attacked the weapon, so I guess we'll attack- Whoa! Why'd they get to go first? That's not fair. I don't understand that. Or did you not have charging? I can't do anything with you, I think you're done. Okay, well let's- let's see how this goes. I- I really hope that they don't- keep attacking my own weapon or else we're kind of screwed. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, they're messing up. Oh, it's raining now. Now, does that do anything to the stats? It looks like it, kind of. Yeah, let's let's keep firing here. Do we want to try this thing? The Hail Mary. All right, I'm down. Deals 10%. Let's see what happens. Uh, please let this work. All right, here we go. That worked out really well. Okay. Uh, now, how long does it... I'm guessing that has a pretty long cooldown. No, it doesn't. Were we supposed to get that lucky, though? Okay, I think I have to end my turn. Miss. Nice. All right, now you're screwed because you, you don't have your shields up anymore. So I might want to consider doing that a lot more. <laughs> Clearly. I would say. Okay, so this should get the kill. I'm guessing. No. Well, I didn't I didn't think that we were going to miss. I'm going to try that again. I I don't exactly know how powerful this move is. Well, we just killed the ship. Okay, there you go. So 744 potato dollars and uh, an exploration has been complete. See, look at that. If I helped the old lady, who knows what would have happened. <laughs> I don't think things would have gone as well. Uh, resources found. Hey, we got some resources out of this. That's pretty nice. Weapon components salvaged. Good. Weapons lost. Oh, yeah. That was probably not good. Forgot about that part. Forgot about the, the worst part of it all, which is me losing a weapon. Uh, so now we're back in our kind of uh, ship here. All right, cool. So I, I got some money out of it. I got some resources out of it. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to stop this video right here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me continue to play this game. Um, I think it's pretty funny. I like potatoes, and uh, there's obviously a way deeper strategy here that I'm not looking into, so maybe I'll have to do that over the break, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I might need to dive a little bit deeper into the numbers here over the break because, uh, yeah, Drew is uh, firing upon stuff and just kind of seeing what blows up and hoping that everything goes well. Probably not the best strategy, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.